Now, Dr. Radicke talked a little bit about pediatric fever. Um, pediatric fever is defined, again, as a temperature of over 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius orally. And a rectal temperature is about a half a degree higher than an oral temperature. So that gives you an idea of where that uh, falls in the range. Some of the myths about pediatric fever. The first thing is, fe is fever is dangerous. And really, fever is not dangerous. Fever is a manifestation of the body's response to an infection. And a lot of people believe that physiologically, the fever tells us that the white blood cells are being mobilized to help fight this infection. The problem with the fever that becomes dangerous is that when the, in when the child becomes more lethargic, they tend to not drink as much, and so then they become dehydrated. So the initial fever is not the issue, it's the dehydration that's a problem. Next one, parents' assessment of fever is accurate. Now this is kind of interesting because there is a study out there where they compared a mother's ability to tell a fever in a child versus a tympanic thermometer, and they found that the mother was better. So, and we all know that mothers are better at almost everything, so that's no surprise. But suffice to say that a parent can tell when a child has a fever, they can't tell how high it is. Next one, bundling a child causes fever. Bundling a child will elevate the, the superficial temperature, but it does not change the core temperature. Likewise, a cool sponge bath will decrease the exterior temperature, but won't decrease the core temperature. Ibuprofen versus acetaminophen, there's really no difference in the antipyretic effect. And the American Academy of Pediatrics actually recommends not alternating the doses because parents can get confused about which medicine they gave last. The next one, if a high fever responds to an antipyretic, then it's likely to be, or it's less likely to be a serious bacterial infection, and that's absolutely not true. Um, antipyretics do not prevent febrile seizures because once the fever starts, the cats all, or the horse is already out of the barn on that one. And then finally, otitis media is a significant cause of fever. Otitis media does cause a low-grade temperature. Uh, generally speaking, infants and children with otitis media